With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question given here is ethyl chloride is prepared by the reaction of ethylene with the hydrogen chloride and the reaction for this is represented as here that is C2H4 is reacting with the HCl and giving us C2H5Cl. So the delta H value is the given in question that is minus 72.3 kilojoule per mole and we have to calculate the value of delta E in kilojoule and it is given that 98 gram of ethylene is reacting with the 109.5 gram of HCl and they are allowed to react at 300 Kelvin here. So let's solve the given question here. For solving this question, let's first of all write the reaction here. That is C2H4 is reacting with the HCl and giving us C2H5Cl. Okay. We are given here with the weight of both the ethylene and the HCl. The 98 gram is the ethylene and the 109.5 gram is of HCl. So by utilizing this weight, we can calculate the number of moles here. As we know, what is the formula for number of moles? It can be calculated by weight divided by molecular weight. Okay. So what will be the molecular weight of ethylene? It would be 28 here. So put 98 here and then we got the number of moles on solving this. We will get the number of moles here. That is the 3.5. Now let's calculate the number of moles of HCl also. Weight is given that is 109.5 then divided by what is the molecular weight that is 36.5 is the molecular weight of HCl. So that will give out the number of moles of HCl that comes out to be 3 here. So by looking at the number of moles only and we have written a balanced equation here. So you can say that the one mole of ethylene is reacting with one mole of HCl and giving us one mole of ethyl chloride, isn't it? So here we are provided by the question that three moles of HCl are 3.5 moles of ethylene. So you can assume here that only three moles of HCl can react with how many moles of ethylene? That will be 3 moles of ethylene only. Isn't it? So you can say that 0.5 moles of this ethylene won't be participating in the reaction. So 3 mole of HCl will react with the 3 mole of ethylene. And how many ethylene chloride that is a product molecule would be formed? That would be also 3 because the reaction is quite balanced. Okay. As you can see here in the reaction given that one mole of ethylene reacting with one mole of HCl giving us one mole of product. So we can say here that three mole of HCl is reacting with the three mole of ethylene and giving us three mole of ethyl chloride. Isn't it? Because it is the limiting quantity here that is the HCl. So let's use the formula for calculating the delta E value. We here in the question we are given here with the value of delta H that is minus 72.3. How we can calculate the delta E of the reaction by using this formula? Delta H is equal to delta E minus delta NGRT. So by using this formula you can calculate the delta E for the reaction. Okay. Now let's put the values in this formula here. As the value of delta H is given, we have to calculate for delta E. So let's modify this formula first. Delta E has to be calculated. So delta H would be. So by looking here at the formula, that is delta H is equal to delta E plus delta NGRT. We can write for the delta G also. The formula can be modified in this form as the positive charge is with the delta NGRT. So we can write it that is delta H minus delta NGRT. Okay. That would be our expression. Now put the values in this formula. Delta H is given that is having value in the minus that is minus 72.3 minus delta NG. What is the delta NG here? So let's calculate it. Delta NG can be calculated by number of moles of product minus number of moles of reactant. So here you can see that 3 mole of ethylene chloride has formed and divided by sorry minus number of moles of reactant that is 3 plus 3. So that would give us the value that is minus 3 here. 
so delta ng has the value that is minus 3 so minus 3 multiplied by r r is having the value that is 8.314 it is in joule so for obtaining it in kilojoule we are dividing it with 1000 then multiplied by temperature what is the temperature here that will be the 300 here okay so now let's solve this given question here so value will come out to be minus 72.3 positive than 7.48 it would be and on solving this expression, we can get the value of delta G here. That would be minus 64.82 kilo joule. Okay. So, this is our expression for the delta E here. Okay. Now, let's see in the given options, which one is showing us this value. So, you can see here that the option A is giving us the same value. So, this is our correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.